You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's the next video in our Maker Revisit series. We just finished the McDonald's Makers, and now we're going through other makers that we have videos of, but they need a little improvement. They need to show a few more recipes or a little more clarification. So now we're on the Circus Boy ice cream bar. Let me show you the top of that. Now it's based off of the Circus Boy show, and we learned that from people in the comments and kind of got the year in the comments thinking it's in the 50s. Um, but we haven't got an official year on it. And then also in that one, I said, when I was looking at the recipes in the back, I'm like, okay, junk and ice cream, they don't make that anymore or you can't get it. But you can, see, there is Dutch chocolate, simply strawberry, and very vanilla. So I'm going to make probably the strawberry today. So you actually have to prepare the ice cream mix on its own and use this to turn it into ice cream. So I'm going to follow their directions here because it's a little different here. And maybe back then this is what you used to make the junket mix, so they've changed it. All right, so where are we at? Okay, look at the box. Pretty neat, huh? And the machine is really cool, so we'll get to that in a second. Box is, uh, you know, got that Circus Boy ice cream, manually operated, really neat packaging. Actually makes ice cream sherbet frozen custard in just seconds. All right, well, we're going to find that out because it really did work pretty quick. I think we just made an orange soda and it made a slushy the first time. So basically it's a couple steps. I'll need to prepare the canister and then prepare the mixes. So I'm going to do that. So when we come back, I'm going to get the ice and salt in the metal canister and we're going to get started. All right, so here we go. Here is the metal canister that comes with it and that sits inside this slot here. And it basically says, fill cylinder with ice cubes. Whoa, slip right off the table. Oh, lost another one. Okay. I would say that's pretty good. Then it says half a cup of water and half a cup of salt. Now the salt, everybody, just to not to confuse you, is used to chill this down quicker. It's not in the actual ice cream or product, so I'm just kind of doing a half a cup. And yes, it's a lot. And I'm using regular old table salt and that's what it calls for half a cup so pour that in and then a half a cup of the water so that is set so I'm just gonna go rinse that off because I didn't really want it on the outside of this and then come back and start the ice cream mix. All right, here we go. That's uh, chilling in the background here so we can get started here. So what you need and just combine contents and mix with a quarter cup milk, one and a quarter cups milk and three quarter cups heavy cream in a bowl. Stir until dissolved. And this makes us the strawberry, which is kind of, you know, not my favorite ice cream, but I'm going to try it anyway. And it smells good. That's coming up to me here, and I can smell it. So let me just mix this in. Because now this just gets poured into the uh, maker itself. And then the cream. Now it says it'll go for hours. An hour, I think it said? I'll have to read that again. The ice lasts for two hours, maybe? Says the ice cubes will last an hour. Okay, I feel that's pretty well mixed. So I'm going to reorganize here, set this up, and get ready to make ice cream. 
All right, so I've transferred to an easier container because basically you're just uh, setting this on here. This is your scraper arm. That's going to lock in there, okay? So once that's locked down, the ice cream's going to come out into this section here. And then I'm just going to turn this nice little crank handle. And then when I'm ready, see, I'm going to pull this back. And you hear it scraping? That's going to scrape along. So here we go. Now I could see it like if it's starting to form up here. That's when I know I have ice cream. Let me wipe that off, you know? Little spills. That happens. And I can kind of touch it and see that it's already starting to form ice cream. And I'll just keep spinning. And when I'm ready, I just go backwards. Yep, it's already mushy. So again, when I'm ready, I just flip this back. I can kind of see now where where I'm at. Okay, not ready. Just keep going. Can you see it in the wheel there? You can see it's thickening up there. It's actually stuck on there now. So, I want to turn this this way now and just take it off. Wow, it's really stuck on there. There we go. That was nice. Now I can put more in there, but you can see the consistency now. Let me get more in my top section. This time I'll pour better. Okay. Now I can spin. And you just keep making and eating and making and eating. Here, let me show you. Let me get a spoon in here. See how nice that uh, made the ice cream already? Look at that. It is smooth, and it's good, and it's creamy, and it tastes like strawberries. Let me keep going. How about a front shot as it's coming out, hmm? So how long was that? Maybe a minute? Ooh, did you see that? I turned the wrong way and it kind of got caught. That's good. Wow, when it's on there, it's really on there. See that? It's like sheets of ice cream. And I can keep going. Should I keep going? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep going. And you can cream that up a little bit more if you want just by, you know, hand mixing it before you serve it. But look, it's really good. Let's do it again. Ooh, nice. I'm just kind of excited that it's working so good. Whoa, look at that. Okay, here we go. Next batch. See all that? And at this point, I'm not going to add anymore. I'm just going to see what's sticking and what's not sticking. You saw it coming out of here. That's just because I've got too much in there, probably. All right, so I'm going to come back, maybe clean up just a little bit, and then put in a bowl, and we'll check it out. Okay, before I did that, I wanted to show you what's going on inside here. So I'm going to see if this works. Now, it's not really... Pretend like I'm pouring it on the top through that spot. And then, remember, now I'm turning, and you see it kind of coating there? I have to be careful because it'll pop out. And I kept touching to see if it's starting to turn yet. 
that neat how that's working. Remember, the salt never touches this. It's this metal canister that's creating this nice layer. See, I have to push with my finger real hard to break the layer. So then I'm coming back with this. I don't know if it'll work this way. And I'm kind of moving it back. And you see how it kind of scrapes it right off? Look at all the ice cream I have now. All right, when I come back, I'm going to move this to a bowl. I'm going to try a little bit more. And then we'll know the recipe. All right, so there, I have it in my Sunday dish, and I could keep making more. I kind of just stop there, give it a little whipped cream. And of course, a cherry on top. It's a nice machine, I gotta tell you. It works probably faster than any machine we've ever used so far. Now we have more to show you. We're kind of, here, look at that. So there is my strawberry ice cream. And let me dip in here. So you can kind of see, let me get some ice cream on there. There we are, nice chunk of ice cream. Well, like I always say, well, most of the time, it's really good. And how could it not be? It's strawberry ice cream with whipped cream and a cherry on top. All right, I'm gonna clean this up, come back and do something else for you. All right, so these are experimentation videos, and I wanted to do another Slurpee-type creation here, so I just use soda. I have a Taco Bell original Mountain Dew Baja Blast, two cans of it. Maybe I'll save one for later. And then I'm going to try this Morton's Ice Cream Salt. It was 95 cents on clearance somewhere, so I have a full box. Remember, I need a half a cup of that, and it's different than regular salt, so I'm just wondering if it's going to work better or for whatever reason... It is much bigger granules, right? Let me tilt that down. Let me get this out of the way. Let me get this measured first. Now, I didn't have to empty my ice water combination. I just did it because I wanted to try other things. Okay, there's a nice half a cup. So let's go back to this. Remember, it was just your ice. And if you see black in there, that's just what they use to coat the inside of this. Remember, none of the liquid from this actually touches what you're drinking. It's just the way they made it back then. Okay, and then a half a cup of the water. Now, I did it a little different this time. That'll give me a little more room in there for this. And then I will put this in now, a little careful, more careful. This will be easier to hide in there. You know, I won't get on my edge. And if I do get it on the edge, I can just take it off. Ooh, that looks nice and cold. Nice and cold. I'm going to put a couple more cubes in there to top this off. And then get the lid on. Ooh, one little stray piece. Okay, so next I'm going to uh, get started. Hold on a second. All right, so I made some room here and I am set. I've never had a Baja Blast. Love hearing that sound. I'm just going to take a quick sip of it. Oh, that's interesting. That's good. I taste lemony, limey flavor. Artificial tropical lime. Oh, that's tasty. All right, so I'm going to close this. Okay, that's ready. Put the lid on, I mean, put the handle on, and then I just pour it in, hopefully without getting it everywhere, like that. And this should turn into a nice slushy pretty quick. Now you kind of see a layer of ice already forming there. Then when the whole thing has ice, I'll be close to pushing it out. Boy, you always need room. 
Look at that. See, now that ice is forming on there. Now, I'm sure the longer you turn, the icier it gets. So on the ice cream, you know, I was just doing it. Sometimes I went a little longer, sometimes I went a little shorter. But look at that. So I bet you now if I do it, I'll have something slushy light coming out. See? Let me do this one open now and just see if I can pour some in. It's almost easier, well, if I turn the can the right way, to pour some in this way. And let's see. Let me zoom in right in on that. See it? it started to develop its ice right away. Now you have to remember too that it's warmer than normal in the video booth with five lights. Look, see? It's a nice slush buildup. So I'm kind of holding this and pushing it down. Look. It seems to catch on the lip right there. That's why sometimes you you hear that. Well, I got to taste this now. Let's take a look. I'm not going to move this to another container. Ooh, that's tasty. You want to see it up close here. That's a nice looking slushy, is it not? I'm going to eat that whole bite. Mm. Ooh, that's a brain freeze. Now you can't go past, really you can't go past this point or it starts to pour out. Look at the little reservoir in there. So I could put more in there, but you don't want it leaking out like my ice cream did a little bit. I'm going to say overall this is one of the coolest makers, so I'm glad I'm able to revisit it. I'm going to do one more recipe, I think. I want to try that chocolate milk, I think. And it's even forming on the side of the can. That's all there. That's ice. I'm going to go longer this time, just for experimentation. Now, there are other ice cream makers that work on this principle, newer ones, that we haven't done yet. So those are going to be part of the Monday series. We're going to try to get a new maker every Monday now. We've been doing the... Oh, see, it leaked. I did leak out some on the bottom there. Okay, that looks nice and thick. Here we go. Check that out. There's the hit spot. Mm -hmm. So, I'd say a great success. You can just keep cranking and eating. You could almost sit it next to you while you're watching TV. Ooh, that's got good flavor. So I'm going to move on and do one more for you. All right, I'm back and ready for the third product here. Now, on the way to get the milk and the chocolate uh, syrup, decided, you know what, that's really like ice cream. And then we already did a soda, so try something different. Here's a Hawaiian Punch sugar-free singles to go. And it just said, mix it in 16 ounces of water, and you're good to go. And then I realized that when I was cleaning this out, I was melting all the ice, so I had to start fresh. So let me just do that and get that ready before I... get to the Hawaiian Punch sugar free. And then I'm going to use that uh, big salt again. Put my water in. That'll help push everything down just a little. And then go with that. Mmm. 
Okay. Drop the couple. I think I like the bigger salt better because it's easier to manage if it spills. Maximizing my ice potential there. And I think in the first video that I made this, I uh, actually used crushed ice and it seems like this works even better. I get it in the right way and then this was one of these packets it's a singles to go tear here I'll cut put it in and then mix it now if it's a bottle of water you're just gonna you know shake it up and they say to take a sip out of the bottle of water so there's a little room for this all right Lots of measuring cups around here. I'm just going to, here, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to try to see how much pour, based off of 16 ounces, how much I can get in there and just fill that bottom reservoir. So it's just a little, four ounces it was, looks like is what it holds. And while I'm here, I'm just going to leave it open and turn it. So you see how fast that started to build up? Not making ice yet. There, it just changed. Wow, how fast that just changed. It was a matter of seconds from when I touched it till now. Look at that, see it? Okay, well, we know the machine works. Let's just see if we can get some ice off of this. There it goes. Not as good as the other ones. But something, anyway. Well, let me eat that little bit, because, you know, every little morsel now I need to try. So check that out. It's definitely got a different texture to it. So I bet you the sugar-free product really makes a difference. But that's what this experimenting is testing for. It's so that we can determine these things. I mean, I have fresh ice, salt, and water. And basically it's just water with Hawaiian punch in it. You would think it would freeze just as easily, but for some reason it's not. But it looks cool. Got to say that. So overall, what do you think of this machine? You know, leave it in the comments. I don't really have any kind of end video presentation because it's all stuff I got to eat right away, and it's hot where I'm at. Lots of lighting, but it's still working pretty good in the heat. Yeah, it's just not getting a good scraping. But now we know. So if anybody was curious, I think we have our answer. Do sugar-free products work? This one, not very well. Well, that's it. I'm just going to keep turning here and saying thanks for watching. Again, this is a remake, revisit video. And if you want to follow along and check out all of our videos that we upload every day, look in the description for a playlist, or as always, just search our channel. And if this changes, I'll check back in. But otherwise, later! All right, I said I would check back in because I spun a little bit longer and look, look how thick the ice is on there. I had to chip it off with a spoon. So it's there, it just doesn't seem to scrape as good and melts really fast, but look. See? So maybe it just needs to be scraped a lot, but it's so hot in here that it just seems to melt when it comes out of my, comes out of the end. But look at that. It worked but not like I expected.
All right, that's it. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.